disease of premature babies. So if you look at the risk factors, number one will be all the babies who are born less than 32 weeks period of gestation. Now, sometimes you will see that they are writing less than 30 weeks. So obviously, less than 30 is less than 32 only. Don't get confused. According to the oldest classification which they had given when they had started with the ROP, it was less than 32 weeks. Now, according to the latest guidelines, the screening guidelines have changed that I will tell you after some time. So, less than 32 weeks, period of gestation or less than 1.5 kgs of birth weight. So, these kind of babies, if they are exposed to, if they are exposed to the high concentration of the oxygen now obviously you know these kind of babies will not be with the ophthalmologist from the beginning right so this baby will be with the obg people and they will refer it to the pediatrics and it is a duty of a pediatrician that if it is a premature baby he should not give very very high concentration of oxygen why because they have the immature because these babies have immature, especially the temporal, temporal retinal vasculature, immature temporal retinal vasculature because this vasculature is actually vascularized. This temporal blood vessels will come in the last after 36 weeks. So if the baby is taking birth less than 32 weeks, they don't have these blood vessels. This retina is avascular. Therefore, it is prone to, it is prone to intense fibrovascular proliferation, fibrovascular proliferation, it is prone to intense fibrovascular proliferation and this is specially behind the retina, specially behind the retina. Therefore, it will be called as, what will be the other name? This is called as the retrolental and that is why we have one more name for this. This is also called as retrolental fibroplasia. So, if you look at this name, it's very simple. See, retro means behind and uh, Sorry, it is not behind retina, uh, especially behind the lens. So, we have retro, retro is behind, then we have lentil, lentil is lens and then we have fibrovascular proliferation that is fibroplasia. So, so much you know it is appropriately named and this is the old name retro lentil fibroplasia which is now also called as retinopathy of prematurity. Now, this fibrovascular proliferation is also giving a whitish pupillary reflex. So, this is also coming under the DD of leukocoria. This is also the DD leukocoria. Now, I keep on telling you that DDs are very, very important. And at the end, when you have finished making the notes, you have watched all the videos, please make a separate list of all the DDs, all the mathematical ophthalmological dictums that I have told you, the name of the instruments, and you will be getting your important flashcards that you have to revise just before your exam. All right. Now, uh, this fibrovascular proliferation which is developing inside the vitreous cavity behind the lens, why this is important? So, slowly and gradually, it is going to lead into the retinal detachment.